Hi guys, so it's time for the swimsuit round. So I'm Jivan Tawang, just so you guys know. So this is the continuation video with Ani Dila. Let's just get into this video. Are everyone's gonna walk on the swimsuit round or just the top 20? I guess it's just the top 20, probably. I love okay Dominican Republic has the best walk as of now according to my opinion okay my opinion M Y All of them have such good bodies All of them are great walkers She danced half the way. <laughs> when you come, <laughs> I love that wing. This is definitely up there. <laughs> I love that. Hey. Wait, did I miss Ka Oh my gosh. I forgot about Cambodia. Did Cambodia make it? I don't think so, right? In top 20. Oh my god, I just remember that Cambodia was also, you know, like one of the fan favorites and she's not here.
I love that face, you know, she's got that model face. That spin was, I don't know, it was so so. <laughs> I just realized that I've missed a few countries that I really like. They were not chosen in top 20. I think Thailand was also not... <laughs> what she's enjoying. Alright guys, so that was swimsuit competition and I feel like in that particular competition, uh, the front runners for me were India, I loved India, I loved uh, Brazil, and I guess, uh, the, for me the best was, in my opinion, was Dominican Republic, so I'll meet you in my next segment, which is probably going to be in the same video. The top 10. Oh, wait! Okay, so C1, the popular one, so Cambodia is back again. Okay, I was missing, I was missing, I forgot about Thailand and Cambodia. Ten. Let's go with the second lovely lady. Wait, oh, wait, 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 I don't think it's gonna be 11. She, she's taken the one spot, so there's gonna be nine more people from the swimsuit round that's gonna come. The top ten Suela! Venezuela was amazing. Oh god, they take so much time, I like to skip. Okay, guys. Okay. Gentlemen, congratulations to Miss Grand Indonesia. Deserved. Miss Grand Spain. Okay. Congratulations to Miss Grand South Africa. She was amazing. Miss Grand Puerto Rico. Ooh. This is taking, this is walking with the trophy on hand. Only three spots left oh my god, three spots remaining and I have so many favorites. Oh my god, Dominic Republic, Brazil has to make it. Oh my god, the one that I thought that were so good in, uh, in swimsuit, none of them has made it. Oh my god. I am so bad. <laughs> top 10 guys, give it up for Miss Grand Vietnam! Oh, yeah, she deserved it. Oh my god, Dominican Republic, Brazil, and India. I'm rooting for them. Malaysia too. What if none of them makes it? Oh god. Brazil! I knew it. Brazil! One more spot left, guys. Who's it gonna be? Is this one more? Okay. Who's it gonna be? Make some noise! Come on! I guess it would be Dominican Republic if we're gonna go on the base of walk. Last but not least is Miss Grand Ecuador! Oh, okay, okay. They're, all of them are very good at it. So much tears as I did during the coronavirus pandemic. I saw humanity in prison while fighting a war against the invisible. The lack of knowledge about this disease left us with no choices. To me, this is not just the absence of war. It is to live without fear. 
This is having freedom. She's very expressive with the face. This is a right to all beings. As a representative of beauty, as a communicator, as a woman, my fight is for knowledge. Because it is through knowledge that a scientist develops a vaccine against a little virus. It is through knowledge that we can get to know ourselves and the world around us better. This is knowledge because it allows us to have a choice and the power Did they of choice it beforehand? and freedom. Freedom generates peace. The law and violence. We need to start from our humanity and our young generation to build up education and knowledge. And show about advice of the world on the world in the past and nowadays show us Myanmar right now. To make the world become a better place, peace, we need to make solidarity, share the love and respect to stop corruption and injustice. I will use my voice to be in power movement. The accent is very different, so I'm finding it a little bit difficult to understand her. She had the love to make a mistake for all people, all nations and countries that we live on the same She's earth like our home. Because we are friends, the one and only. But words are powerful. People are victims of violence just for being who they are. The human race has achieved scientific success. We have produced robots, explored the oceans, and even reached space. But something basic is missing. We haven't learned the simple art of building peace. The kind of peace that makes this world worth living. I come from a country without an army. I may not know how war feels. But I do know the results of investing in education, health, and the environment instead of war. And that's our strongest weapon to save hard I guess everybody's going to talk about education and knowledge. These are the start of something new. But to heal and overcome, we must make peace with one another and be the change we want to see in the world. Because it's my conviction that global change begins within ourselves. Thank you. Miss on the world unite to us one more time. Stop the war. We know what we are talking about. We know violence start at home, start at the school. Today I want to recognize teachers who have done the impossible to go on teaching, providing peace and children's jobs in quarantine. However, I want to ask the educational system for a change. Educators have to focus on children's mental health, teaching emotional intelligence. These children will be our leaders, and our leaders have to act consciously with more love, with more I really like the point. and less ego. If it's we want to peace, we have to defend our future peace soldiers and give them the right ammunition, books, and self-love. Kapunka. Miss Grand Indonesia. journey to accomplishing peace is through the means of embracing our diversity. We breathe the same air. War stems from hatred. And hatred can only be tolerated in a dim lit world. I will not tolerate words of war or actions of violence. And not only will I not tolerate these terms, but I will do my part every day to actively advocate against them. It is with my understanding that we should come together, unite, to rewrite the mistakes of our past and create a better future for the youth to come. I stand here today not by coincidence. I am here today because I 
have a grand purpose. Thank you. There's a lot of Indonesian people, you can hear them out. Turn around our grand world. So tonight, I stand in front of you asking you to reflect about the long-term effects of war. As a communicator, I firmly believe in the power of assertive communication. And it's up to us to use this as a tool to promote unity and a society in which each one safeguards its rights and those of others. We have to pay attention to initiatives that promote equal opportunity and access to education, security, and healthcare without caring about the person's gender, race, or sexual orientation. It's all about human rights. If we unite, oh my God. use this as a social basis. Is she, no like, is she like a real, real communicator? Because, you know, the way she speaks, it's so professional. What we can achieve. Damn. Okay, she the best. Wow, I just got chills. Ah. South Africa. That's gonna be very hard to beat. Every single day. In South Africa, 688 girls aged between 9 and 10 gave birth in 2020. 35,000 babies were born to girls aged 17 and younger. Rape, sexual abuse, and gender based violence are all things that contribute to these statistics. I would like to use this opportunity to remind you that wars and violence doesn't only happen between nations. It happens in schools and in homes. As Miss Grand International 2021, I would like to use my advocacy of leadership through education to help grow and develop a more peaceful society. Education is the best weapon which we can use to change the world. In South Africa, we believe in Ubuntu. I am because we are. We are stronger together. Wow. These two ladies literally killed it. And honestly, I guess it was more factual. That's why it just hit in your heart. A woman that fights to be the best possible version of herself and for her rights. But sadly, not all of us are this lucky. One out of three women suffer from gender violence every year. One out of three women has their own fight with society every day. But the worst thing is that they don't believe us. They don't believe our stories. So what are we waiting for? Do you want to be the next one? Your daughter, your sister, or your friend? I don't want to. Today I stand here to tell you that no matter the clothes I wear, no matter the time I decide to go alone, you don't have the right for nothing. From here I want to send a message to all the women around the world. You are not alone. No están sola. Si sin kind of line. Tamen bien. As Miss Grand International 2021, I'll promise you that we are going to fight together. All right. The pandemic erased the borders of the world. It reminded us that beyond being a passport, a flag, a religion, a gender, or a color, we all breathe the same air. And yes, we speak different languages, but we all feel the same emotion. Ego and the lack of empathy are the main reasons for so many senseless wars. So let's silence the cries of egos and let's start looking more to the heart beat of you. Let's look for solutions rather than saviors. But we have to know that we must work together as a team, citizens and government, together as one, using truth and science and fear respecting human rights and of course abandoning evil so what do you say that superhero we are always looking for is smiling back at us in the mirror mm -hmm. so do we allow ourselves to overcome by fear or do we wake up and shake the world shake the world obviously without doubt let's go for vietnam this is like the area we live this area 
every day, we think about it every day, but somehow we assume that protagonist is not our responsibility. War doesn't just occur in the past. War is the fight between the evil and angel inside each other. So we are the one who can manage it, and we are the one who can control it. Growing up without my parents taught me how important love is. And I'm standing here for the one who feels neglected, abandoned, and somehow you want to spread the pain and the hurt to others. Please let the love and sympathy raise in your inner self so that war and violence cannot happen. I could be neglected, but I won't ignore you because I know that each of us are the part of changing the world. We are our own heroes. Let us all make the grand whole world peace and beautiful. But this is there the last. But the expression that she gave the last was like, "boo." All right, guys. So that was um, the I don't know what we what can we call it? it. Was not evening gown round performance. It was something like they have one minute to say something, and I was really uh, the two contenders that really you know like shook me to the core was South Africa and. Uh, uh, the best was definitely Puerto Rico, especially when she did that sign language. That was like, that really gave me chills, okay? So, yeah, let's see what's gonna happen next. I'll meet you. I thought there would be no evening gown because I've never watched Miss Grand International before, so yeah. She looked breathtaking. Beautiful. Even even more from near. So elegant. I guess visually most captivating is her is is her gown. Ah. Uh. Puerto Rico. It was obvious after that performance. I mean, you know, after what she said, Puerto Rico and South Africa are clear cut. You know, like going to top five according to me. After that, I do feel like uh, Vietnam and then um, Costa Rica probably and Brazil, I feel. I could be wrong, but just my, you know, guessing prediction. Next up, please give it up for Miss Brad Ecuador! Oh, Ecuador. Ladies and gentlemen, the third lady. Into our top five of Miss Grand International 2021 is Miss Grand Brazil. You had one get one prediction correct. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Indonesia is there too. Here we go. I forgot about Indonesia. The fourth lady into our top five finalists this evening is Miss Grand. Miss Grand Vietnam. See another prediction right at the time. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I think it could it would be South Africa. Who do you want as your last finalist here? Filling out our top five. Last but not least, give it up for Miss Grand South Africa. See, <laughs> my old prediction was correct. 